Where your capital comes from is almost as important as having capital. I'm David Gowdy, Managing Partner at Jungle Ventures, and I'm going to talk for a little bit about how to select the right investor for your startup. Most of my comments are really going to be geared toward those founders that have the luxury of time and being able to select who their investor is. But I totally recognize that a lot of times capital is capital when you're an early stage business and just getting capital in the door is the most important thing. But if you do have the ability to select who your investors are, there are some specific things that you can look to. And I'm going to bring up three areas that you should focus on as you think about who your investors are. The first step is trying to find the right investors for the stage of your business who are also willing to add value at that stage. Typically for early stage founders, that's going to be angel investors. And so you want to try and learn as much as you can about those angel investors and their willingness to add value to what you're doing. You want to try and find people that can not only invest money, but will also invest some of their time to help you, whether it's through networking and meeting new people, whether it's through developing the business through business development, or just sharing knowledge and experience from their own track record and history that's going to help you further accelerate your learning curve to develop your business. It also needs to be a group of investors that you feel comfortable with. These are investors that are probably going to be with you for the longest period of time because they're your first investors coming into the business. And so having a good cultural fit, having a good working relationship, and having someone that really understands you and and understands what it is that you're trying to build, I think is hugely important for early stage investments. The second thing is, once you've found those investors, is to make sure that they're coming in on fair terms. Now, I'm not talking about valuation. I'm actually talking about the terms of their investment. There's a lot of public information that's available online that's free that you can go and download. In fact, in Singapore, the Singapore Venture Capital Association has created a pack called the Vima Docs, and you can do a search for that online. And it's a shareholders agreement, sample subscription agreement. Most of the documents that you'll need in order to construct your round are all free for download that you can read through there. And ensuring that you have the right terms at the start in that first round is very, very critical for your business. And the reason for that is every investor that comes subsequent to that will tend to ride off of the same terms. And so if you have angel investors coming in and negotiating or getting you know, uh, special terms or something that is a little bit off market, the important thing in getting the right terms in your seed round is that those terms will tend to carry on in all of your subsequent rounds. So the investors that come next in your Series A or Series B will always look back to say, what did the investor before me get? And so you want to ensure that you start off on a really fair footing for your terms because those will cascade through. The third point, which a lot of founders don't really think about, is that you should be doing as much diligence on your investors as you can. And this is not just true at the angel or seed stage. This should be for every round that you conduct. So obviously, investors are going to come and meet you and learn about the business and do a lot of diligence on you and the team and where they think the business can go. And I would encourage founders to do as much diligence on the investors as you possibly can. Who are the other companies that they've invested in? What stage would they typically invest in? Would they follow on? Would they invest more capital downstream? You know, how much value do they do you think that they can add? What kind of role do you see them playing? And how involved are they in the business? Or how much insights or knowledge do they have the space in which you're operating? I think all of those factors will play into, is this the best investor for me at my stage in the business? And so that takes a certain amount of work on the founder side to do that diligence. So in summary, it's about bringing on the right investors for the stage of your business who can add value at that stage. The second thing is making sure that they're coming in on fair and equitable terms. And then the third thing is you're dedicating enough time to diligence who they are to make sure that you can build a strong a cap table as you possibly can because that can become a real differentiator for your business over time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, I hope you clicked like below, add your comments. I'd love to read your feedback of what else you'd like to see us talking about. Thank you.